My name's Errol Hickey, and this is my story. Errol Hickey is the phenomenal man behind one of Zambia's first privately owned radio stations, Radio Phoenix. The Radio Phoenix really made its name. We had all these experienced broadcasters. 20 years on, Radio Phoenix has one of the largest radio listenership outside of the public broadcaster. We do have stuff in there that caters for the immediate community. The foundation that was laid was very strong. Who was this man who started out as a photojournalist? In fashion all the time. What motivates him to keep going on, even in the face of adversity? I'm a spiritual person. You know, I've been through incidents where I shouldn't be sitting here. If you get the opportunity and the chance, you go for it. Because life just depends on you, not anybody else. The key to success is going forward. Let's say at the time, I think we took a chance. There wasn't that kind of finances to start a fancy outfit. But what we knew, both of us had, was creativity and a lot of working strength. And that's what we went out with. And the station was launched at State House. In fact, President Chaluba launched the station himself with uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mwana as our Minister of Information being there with us. Radio Phoenix was now up and running. The community radio station was set up to give a voice to the people. Was the Phoenix going to soar high or was trouble ahead? 89.5 was the frequency of Radio Phoenix, one of the first privately owned radio stations broadcasting across Lusaka City in the early 90s. Errol Hickey had successfully transitioned from photojournalism to owning an advertising agency to running a community radio station, giving a much needed voice to the people. Radio Phoenix was basically set up for the people. For the people to have a voice, we wanted to look at issues that, that were affecting the people, the, you know, as far as the poverty levels were concerned, as far as education was concerned, as far as health was concerned. We wanted to set up a station where the people could have a voice. Uh, there's one thing that I love about uh, Aero, is that he's a perfectionist. He, he wants to do things to detail. And I think he had the hands on in terms of running Radio Phoenix. And that way, it, it succeeded. She was a very, very, very good woman. Like for me, I really can't complain. She's somebody who used to, to, to help everybody. I think when he lost a wife, I think he really, I think it was his really lowest moment when he lost the wife in South Africa due to, to cancer. So I think the roles reversed. I think it was difficult for him because all of a sudden he had to become a mom as well, you know, and he had to involve himself in things that didn't ne necessarily, you know, interest him, you know. Um, but he did, a, he did a very good job. But the joy and delight to overcome all those sad incidents was the birth of my, my girl, my little Joanna. He is always busy. He wakes up in the morning and, you know, he'll tell you he's retired, but he's sorting out things at the lodge. He's traveling, he's doing things, he's seeing things. He's obviously very involved in helpline still. I have great joy in meeting the LD. You know, there's just so much wisdom out there. And this is my story. <laughs>